Earlier we said that water was amphoteric, which means it can both accept protons and donate protons. And so it turns out when you have a water uh, sample, uh, water will actually react with itself in a scenario which in, in which one water molecule will donate a proton and one, the other one will accept it. And this process is known as the auto-ionization of water, where one water molecule will donate a proton to the other to create the hydronium ion plus the hydroxide ion. And this occurs in all uh, water so, uh, samples. It's occurring uh, in uh, water, if you're drinking water right now. Uh, the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are uh, not very high and at room temperature um, the concentrations uh, can be calculated uh, by the fact that the equilibrium constant remember this was equilibrium process where the reactions are going back and forth at the same rate uh, the sum or excuse me the product of these two concentrations of the products is equal to an equilibrium constant which we call the kw for water and kw is equal to uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th at room temperature. Which means that uh, since these concentrations uh, are the same, uh, the individual concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide is 1.0 times 10 to the negative uh, seventh molar. And if you multiply those two values, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7 times 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, that's the value you get for Kw. Or you can figure this out by taking the square root of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So this will actually, um, the reason why we're talking about this now is not that uh, um, this reaction isn't important, but this value for the concentration is what will set up um, what is known as our the pH of a neutral solution and also give us a jumping off point for the pH scale. You probably already knew that the uh, pH of neutral water is 7. And the reason why it is 7 is because the concentration of hydronium in uh, water is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. Because that is actually how you calculate pH. pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. And of course we say hydronium, but of course we can talk about this in terms of H plus ion. And so you can use H plus and hydronium H3O plus uh, interchangeably. These two equations are both uh, say the same thing. Okay, and so at room temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius, uh, the concentration of hydronium in water is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th, which we just discussed. So if you wanted to calculate the pH of water, you would take the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th. And so take it, break out our calculator to do this. And we get negative log 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th equals, well, you guess it, 7. And so that is what is a neutral solution, or pH of a neutral solution at room temperature. And so um, really what uh, a neutral solution is, is not that it doesn't contain any acid, is that the concentration of a hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions, the acid and the base, are equal to each other. And in water, that turns out to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th. So a neutral solution is when the hydronium ion concentration equals the hydroxide ion concentration. If we go to a more acidic solution uh, that occurs when the hydronium 
ion concentration is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration. So any uh, concentrations greater than 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh uh, lead to acidic conditions. And so if a uh, neutral solution is seven, typically we, uh, the pH would decrease as the hydronium ion concentration increases. And that's because we're taking the negative log of that value. So let's say the uh, concentration increased to 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. One negative log of one E negative four. Four. And so as you can see is that as the solution becomes more acidic, the pH actually decreases. And generally we go from zero to seven, although, or one to seven, um, although acidic uh, pHs can even go negative with uh, really high concentrations. And then of course, we can have the scenario where the hydroxide concentrations are greater than the hydronium ion concentrations. And that is when we're going into basic solutions. And that of course is greater than seven. So greater than seven all the way up to 14 um, is a basic solution. Um, and of course, pHs can go above 14, but that's generally the spectrum in which we, uh, we talk about. All right, so for acidic solutions, the, uh, <coughs> the hydronium ion concentration is greater than the hydroxide, and the pH is less than seven. For neutral solutions, uh, the hydronium concentration is equal to the hydroxide, and the pH is equal to seven. And, of course, for basic solutions, the hydroxide is greater than the hydronium and the pH increases and is greater than 7.